You got your story coming in too? Yeah, I got my story. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about why we quit smoking weed. What? You quit smoking weed? You, you didn't quit yet, bro? That we quit, so I thought that's what the video is about, why we quit smoking weed, that's the title. Is that what this is? is are we doing the no fat video? Sure, I didn't know I was gonna tell people I was quitting smoking weed. You could do the no fat, you just quit right now, we talk about why you quit smoking weed. <laughs> Promise to quit right now, we'll do the video right now. Let's do it. All right, the why we quit smoking weed, Nate's officially quit uh, you actually officially quit like what like a couple months ago or something? Let's see. It was uh, It was right before New Year's 2020. Yeah, it was right in that pocket. It was in that pocket between Christmas and New Year's, right? That's right, right after Christmas. And uh, yeah. You've been at so now it's been how many months? January, February, March. No, we're not in March yet. <laughs> oh shit, January, February. <laughs> it's been, yeah, I guess it's been like maybe six weeks. Okay. Well, we're like a couple weeks into February. And you feel like a new man? So maybe eight weeks right in there, I guess. Like two months. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel great. I feel great. Becoming more clear. Yeah, right? Yeah. More and more clarity. More clarity, like, what? Dude, so, I smoked weed when I was 14, maybe 15, same as you, right? Okay, yeah, 14. That was my first joint, and yeah. uh, I said I was never gonna smoke it too. Growing up, I was like, I'm never doing drugs. Yeah. I thought it was so. I saw the kids doing drugs, and like they're bad kids. Right. So I was like anti that, anti that, and then I got pulled into this group, and they were all doing it. It was cool. I was like, well, I could probably, yeah, give it a go. Like that bad. Yeah. So then I was at my uncle's one day with my friends, and he was a stoner. Roll up a joint and he's, we're just smoking it, standing there, and then oh, he's smoking it, and then we stand around him, and he just passes it to us, like mm. as if, like, wow. And you were 14, 14, 15, Dang. like it wasn't anything, it was just like, here, have a joint. Yeah. And I was like, oh, of course, <laughs> like that, <laughs> <all> right? <laughs> then we were getting there, so stoned, just laying on my uncle's couch after, and my aunt walks in with like lollipops. No, uh, uh, what are they called? The frozen icicles, um, okay, frozen, what like are they popsicle. popsicle, yeah, eating the popsicle, I was so ripped out of my mind, dude, really, and um. Yeah, no. From then on, and before we left his house, he gave us a big bag of all his weed. And, really? Yeah. We went back to my cabin. That's a and cool uncle, man. We went back to my <laughs> my parents and no, went back to my house after my cabin after, and my friends are just blazing up every night, just laughing our asses off. Every you know, the night. first time we smoke weed, everything's funny yeah, as hell. Yeah. Super, super funny. So we're laughing, we're falling in love with this stuff, and right. And it was just beautiful memories. It was the first time we all smoked weed. And it was freaking awesome. We all loved it. Yeah. And from then on, I smoked weed every single day. Really, fourteen until about age 19 okay. and the reason I quit five years despite despite loving it um, it just it was I was always stoned dude yeah like, I, I had to smoke weed before doing any task mm -hmm. whether it's before making breakfast before mowing the lawn before watching a movie before driving and after and after yeah sometimes but, during but, sometimes <laughs> during, but definitely before like I remember going to graduation photos and I was like Ted come out to the lawn we gotta take your grad photos I was all just in my text I'm like, okay hold on hold on She's like, where are you going? Wait, just one sec. Go downstairs. A little hit. Yeah. Go back upstairs. Okay, now I can get my grad photos taken. So my yeah. grad photos, I'm just stoned. Right. Um, right. Stoned for everything. Everything. And uh, the reason I ended up quitting was because, and I tried quitting before. I tried quitting before, but I couldn't do it. I was like, my mom was like, oh, why don't you quit? Because she finally found out I smoked weed. She said, why don't you quit? I was like, I can quit if I want. I'm not addicted or anything. It's just, yeah. I don't want to quit. Yeah. But then one time I'm like, I'm just going to try to quit, see what it would be like. Yeah. And because I smoked it every single night before bed, right, before every oh, task, yeah. especially right before bed, yeah. when I tried to quit, when I tried to not smoke before bed, couldn't I couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. I stayed up for three nights. I was like, I am staying. I'm going to not smoke until I can at least fall asleep without smoking, just to prove I can do it. Wow. Couldn't fall asleep, three nights, went to school during this period, it was like high school. Just tired. So sleepy. tired, insomniac. Wow. And then finally on like the third day, I knocked out, slept. Next day I'm like, I'm not doing that again, I'm not risking that again. Going back to smoking it. And then I justified it, I'm just smoking it like I, because I need it, you know, for yeah. my medication. Yeah. And um, it's funny, I remember the moment I started smoking weed right before bed too. I had mono, that virus. Okay, yep. And I was taking this medication that and the medication was like something that was supposed to help with the symptoms of mono, but it specifically said like, do not take if you have mono. Uh, so I don't know why they gave it to me. Maybe it wasn't diagnosed properly, but whatever. I was taking this medication. It wasn't meant for me. I was getting itchy as hell, super itchy, oh. super itchy, super itchy. And at the time I was watching The O.C. on TV. Yeah. And as an episode on The O.C. where Seth started smoking weed right before bed. And I thought it was so cool, so inspirational. I was like, wow, that's really cool. I smoked weed before bed, sneaking it. Yeah. And I was getting all this itchy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do what Seth did and just smoke a bit of weed. I think that'll help. So I smoked it, and boom, each one away. I fell asleep right away. I'm like, that is an amazing medication, right? Yeah. There. 
So then I started smoking weed every single night before bed for the next several years. And this was, so you were smoking from, from 14 on to 19, but yeah. in that time, that's when you started smoking before bed as well? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Before yeah. you stopped at 19. Yeah, I started smoking weed. I mean, started smoking the whole bed before bed thing around whenever the OC was out with Seth. I was maybe 16, 17 okay. at that point. Um, and I just, I, yeah, couldn't live without it. But then when I tried to quit, I couldn't sleep, right? Yeah. And then when I finally did fall asleep, I'm not risking that again. Started smoking it before bed every night. But then I was like, I really got to wean off this stuff now somehow. Cause I can't just quit cold turkey. So I found out about vaporizing. It was the vapor lounge in Vancouver. Mm. There was this vapor lounge at the point where you go and pay like, you gotta bring your own weed, but you pay like 20 bucks or whatever for an hour using the vaporizers, the big volcano vapes. Oh, Do you remember those? Yeah. The big bags that light yeah. up? So I, I turkey bags. fell in love with those turkey bags. Best, it's such a clean high. Cleaner. Such a clean high. I remember smoking vapes for the first time, or inhaling vapes for the first time. And then after the vape, I had to go hit the bong and <laughs> oh, couldn't yeah. do the bong after. Horrible. Yeah, so I bought a vape, ended up buying a vape because I was like, I need one of those in my life. I need to transition off. Did you get the volcano? Yeah. 600 bucks. All my friends would come over every day. Crazy. I would like, yeah, I was yeah. like the guy. Every lunchtime, everyone would come over, everyone, yep. vape up. And um, I hid it from my parents for a while. They didn't know I had a volcano in the basement. No, you're just like, it's a popcorn maker, Mom. No, I hid it. I hid it for real. <laughs> oh, but uh, so that, that was that weed journey. And then when I finally got into raw foods, the whole raw food story thing happened. Where I had a bunch of acne, I had to get rid of my raw, or get, I had a bunch of acne, I had to get rid of it. I was like, raw foods, that's the way. Yeah. I started eating raw foods. I was like, I can't do this whole vape thing anymore, man. Yeah. I can't, I was getting hella paranoid again. Like I used to when I started smoking. Yeah. So I started weaning off, but the volcano's got a dial. So instead of doing level nine vape, I did level eight, and then level seven, level six, day by day. Titrated. Yep, titrated. And so by the time I got down to the level two and level one, it was like inhaling air, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm off it now, I'm good. Yeah. So then I finally quit, and once I quit, I got into triathlon, I was super clear, I got into like professional sports, basically. Yeah. Just trained full time as a triathlete. And uh, I vaped every now and then since that time, maybe like a dozen times or so I hit the vape. I haven't liked it. I just get paranoid, I yeah. get feeling like crap. Like I get cool ideas, but I'm like afterwards I'm like, I don't know how to execute on those ideas. Yeah. Cause weed gives you like all this hope and all this yeah. vision and creativity and then when you go back to being sober, you're like, How the hell did I think of that? Like yeah. you're back on a different state of playing. So Yeah. I'm I'm happy I've quit once and for all and um I know people out there watching this, they're like, You're smoking it's probably high right now. Yeah. That's why you gotta stay stoned, man. It's because those ideas just keep coming. <laughs> yeah. But you never execute, like no, you're saying. No, can't execute on it. Just think of more ideas. So, mm. um, yeah, at the end of this video, we'll talk about a few of the benefits that we found since quitting weed. But for the most part, one of the biggest ones is just, just clarity. Mm. Knowing knowing uh, what I'm thinking about, being able to remember things better. Yeah. And uh, having, having that drive within me yeah. to execute on any idea that I have. Yeah. Like making this video. We had this video stoned. Oh, it's a good idea, bro. Yeah. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. Well, if we did, we'd be taking bong hits or hitting that volcano here on yeah. on, on, uh, on okay. the video. Yeah. Yeah. So your story, your story is very different than mine. But except we did start around the same time. Yes. Yeah, but you, time. you're like 42 years old. Yeah, 42. I'm 29. So yeah. this guy's been at it for a lot longer. Yeah. He's inhaled a bit more. Weed I have, than I have, man. I have. <laughs> yeah. You know, I guess uh, one of the things too was I grew up with asthma. Oh and wow! I heard it was good for asthma. Wow! And that's kind of what got me into it, uh, you know, as well as just home life being. Home life was intense. You know, our home life is. It's always intense in our minds when we're fourteen. We're like, oh my yeah, home yeah, life, yeah. my home life. Yeah, my parents don't get me. Right, and uh, a lot of stress in the household, and uh, so I remember smoking the first time and cough like crazy, cough, cough. I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. It just hurts to smoke, and uh, but what'd you smoke with? You know, I can't even remember their names. Just some friends? <laughs> Just some friends. Yeah, some dudes I was hanging out with before I moved to Oregon. So it was right before I moved to Oregon. It was like sophomore year of high school. I had mono as well. My whole wow. fr freshman year, I was out of school. I was homeschooled my freshman year. Um, didn't smoke, though. And uh, it was these guys, these two dudes I was hanging out with. And they had they had some, uh, you know, some some green bud with red hair they called it and I was like oh man okay whatever this is all about so yeah I got into smoking with them and um, I, I don't really remember that it was anything because you know they say like the first time you smoke you're not gonna feel much yeah yeah, and yeah. I didn't I don't think I did feel much um, and it wasn't until I moved to Oregon um, it was middle of my sophomore, we moved over the Christmas holiday, middle of my sophomore year, that was 93, 1993, 
so it was that that next year hooked up with friends in high school and you know made new friends and, and it's tricky because you're in school you want to feel cool you want to feel yeah. a part of the clique or you want to be you want to have your group and the group that I was drawn to because I was into alternative music I wore Doc Martens you know I loved uh, loved Pearl Jam and Nirvana and all those kind of kids were smoking weed dropping acid you know and of course everybody's, everybody drinks and you know a lot of people smoke tobacco but I didn't like drinking I didn't like, I never liked mm. the way it made me feel yeah, me neither I fell asleep right away like yeah that. I just get so same I get so tired yeah. I couldn't I just I don't ever knew how people could drink so much yeah, and uh, <laughs> so my one buddy that I uh, became friends with he had a little film container full of weed good smelling green buds and I'm like wow man that's that's amazing like how much was that and he's like 50 bucks and I was like holy cow 50 bucks a little bit of weed 50 dollars for it was an eighth oh my god you know an eighth of weed and it fit in a film container and I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford well, yeah, I used to store weed. weed in film containers. Yeah, I should little, remember that. Black and then the when the film top. containers were empty, you'd still open it and smell it. Oh man! Oh wow! So good. Got it with that. And his his uh, brother had a graphics bong, which was a uh, uh, plastic. What do they call them? Um, not it's. I, I, see, see what happens. You can't even remember what the plastic is called. It's still a certain kind of plastic bong. It was a, it was a graphics was the name of the bong. I'm trying to picture acrylic. Maybe it was acrylic. See, so you, could, you could drop it though. Memories, yeah, you could memories, memories fading, man. But it was a double chambered graphics bong, and I remember that was when I really felt super, super irate, super high, man. I was, and and I just I loved it. I was like, I'd yeah. go home, I put on my headphones, and I do my do dishes. Oh, you good or, as music when you're stoned. Oh, it was beautiful, and. It brought me to this level of just acceptance. Like I just accepted everything the way it was. Pure acceptance. That's, that's it. how it is. You know, it just it is what it is. And and uh, in a, in a sense, like thinking back, like I don't know how my life would be if I didn't because didn't quit. Didn't, didn't if smoke. I didn't smoke. Oh yeah. But um, I felt that it really helped me because yeah. of how stressful my my home life was. I didn't go to doing different drugs. Well, this is what happens, bro. We justify it mm -hmm. in the moment. Yep. We're saying, oh, I'm doing it because this. Because I'm doing this. this. We always justify yep. shit. Yeah, rather than like looking for, of course, we didn't have online stuff, so it was harder yeah. to find mentors. There was none, dude. Yeah, you could, I mean, to find somebody, I'm in a small town, 2,200 people, Yeah. you know, and to find someone that you look up to who it's isn't. Just, it's, just the, it's just the cool kid of high school is also yep. smoking weed. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> the, cool, the coolest kids are smoking weed. Everybody's smoking weed. Even the teachers are smoking weed. Even the teachers. <laughs> you know, that's that's no lie. We had a couple of teachers that would smoke as well. Yeah. So well, that's true. There's no men. There's no. Uh, there's no people. Examples like you're watching right now. Two examples of people who quit. Right. We didn't have that. No, you couldn't share. I couldn't find you know Tony Robbins or or whatever these amazing or this person you showed me last night, Garrett White. Oh yeah, Garrett White. You know yeah. these no, kind no, of. There's no Jesse Islers. Yeah, you know Islers and very Gary V's. Like you couldn't just tap in and be you know switch your mindset that easy right. you're you're a crab in a barrel yeah yeah you know so that's just it is what it is and there was the acceptance so years fly by you know go through high school same thing man just like ripped all the time right um most of my senior year i i would uh take my hand drum and just go out to the to the rivers and just smoke weed and skip school and play my drum and you make beautiful music when you're high no oh, doubt it's great yeah i had a great time but uh and I don't necessarily, I mean, like I said, it's hard to, to picture like, oh, if I would have done it this way, if I would have done it that way, it is what it is. Like I, mm -hmm. did, I did what I did. Completely, yeah. So uh, I didn't learn about the brain developing. Oh, your brain develops until you're 25. So that concept bums me out a little bit because I'm thinking I could be so much smarter. I'd have so many more neurons that are connected if I wasn't constantly in the cloud. Um, started growing it you know started selling it um, yeah started blowing glass right out of high school making bongs and pipes for other people to smoke out of it and so it was my life it was my livelihood and my life for over 15 years out of high school um, wow, here yeah. I am thinking it fucked up my life and it was only for like four, four years four or five so. years yeah four or five years yeah and I just it was just my world and that's it's a huge world yeah. and not to say that it's a 
it's a I mean I, I think it's definitely better than alcohol for better sure. than tobacco for sure better than popping pills but it is a choice nonetheless it's a if choice you don't want to be in that world you don't have to be no man and it's easy to be in that world because it's so widely accepted even more widely accepted now because it's legal it's legal and it's everywhere and yeah, I, it's I honestly feel like I, I do feel like every drug should be legal like there's no sense yeah. in making you know substance illegal especially yeah. a plant dude right it's a plant maybe like a crazy chemical but yeah a plant dude it just of, grows of course now they're you know extracting they're doing the extract, yeah. which is so much stronger. Yeah. So, anyways, whatever the case is, I'm I'm living my life, and I'm I have uh, my high school sweetheart. You know, we grow up, and and I was looking at her when she'd smoke, and she would just be a flower on the wall, man. Like she wouldn't talk. She would go way introvert, and I'm very extrovert, you know. And and I'd tell her, I'm like, you know, you're more stoned when you're not stoned. <laughs> you know, like you maybe you should not smoke, you know, or not smoke too much. And so she stopped smoking, but I kept smoking. And uh, baby, you shouldn't smoke. You should save this weed. <laughs> You're smoking on my weed, babe. So uh, yeah, you know. But she just, you know, she wouldn't be a part of the conversation at all. Their conversation would be going around, and people would be inter- engaging in the conversation. Yeah. And she would, she would nod a little bit or this or that, and she just was complete, was, there. was not there. No. And uh, so, and people, you know, would never know I was stoned. Right, you know, like you never knew I was stoned. No, I was yeah. stoned around you a lot of times. Yeah, I didn't know. You know, and uh, not uh, like just so baked out, because you know when you are really, really baked, like it's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> yeah, but it just became the thing where, just like you said, it's like, oh, I'm getting ready to do this. I'm getting ready to put my shoes on. Well, yeah. hold on, let me take a hit real quick. I'm getting my shoes on. This is so great. You know, <laughs> everything's but you make some food when yep. you're stoned versus making yep. food when you're not stoned. We're different. going for a hike. Got to make sure. I, I remember one time. I was I was like this is kind of a, a trip because I am making sure I have my pipe and my lighter and my weed on me, but yet I don't carry pictures of my kids with me, right. you know. So I didn't tell you guys like high school sweetheart we had kids, um, growing, Jonah and Jacob. Jonah and Jacob, yeah, growing up and they they grew up around around my glass studio and I would tell them these these are flowers kids but you know we're gonna smoke so you guys go on out of here I don't want you in here when we're smoking, and so I never lied to them. I tried to, you know, be as upfront with them as I could because I didn't want to have that energy like I'm, you know, right. doing something wrong. But uh, either way, there was a couple individuals that I went to school with, and I'm seeing what they're doing in their life, and and uh, you know, they they bought into a franchise, or you know, they they started managing a hotel, and then eventually owned the hotel. And here I am blowing bongs in my backyard, mm-hmm. you know, and which uh, was a dream. It was it was my dream. It was a dream. At one it was point. my dream to have my own business at home, and it, it was great. I lived my dream. That's what is another powerful thing. Like yeah. you set your mind to something, you can achieve it. Doesn't matter what you have that drive, you can do it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, some some crazy things went down in my relationship. You know, possibly for you know the better in a lot of ways. And in that time, yeah, my 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 wife, my ex wife, now she we split up for a little while, and that's when I that's when I stopped. I stopped smoking for a couple of years. And that was the first time that I took that long of a, of a, a break. You, you broke up with her for a bit, and you're like, I need to change yeah. my life up. I need to change my life up. I need to start exercising. I need to get healthy. Because I was unhealthy at that time. You know, I, I would eat anything and everything. It's definitely overweight. Um, I wasn't I, I wasn't the way that I had, had pictured that I should be. Like, if this body is all that I get for this life, this body should be optimum it should run really good. It should feel good. I should I should feel good. I should love the reflection that I see in the mirror. I wasn't having any of that. Right. But I would accept it because I would just. Yeah, that's the thing, dude. Just be like, it's all good. My man. friends who smoke weed now, it's like they don't necessarily love their life. They don't necessarily love what they're doing. Yeah. But they just. Yeah. Keep burning. One hoot away from being Keep all burning. good with it, man. Yeah. What flavor is that? Oh, you got a new flavor, man. Oh, let's try that flavor. Pineapple Kush. <laughs> So blueberry rock star. So yeah, man, I quit for a couple of years. Started working out all the time. My new drugs became like protein powders and right. pre workouts and stuff. So you split up with your wife. You get into the gym. Yeah, quit the weed for a bit, and uh, yeah. you're, you're getting healthy in the gym. People ask you what you're training for. What do you say? Hey, what are you training so hard for? And I said, I'm training for life. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was, man. I was training hard. I wouldn't. I wouldn't rest in between sets. I would jump rope or. Or do box step ups, or you know, just keep my myself moving. Keep moving. A cardio acceleration. Nice. So, it was great. Had a great time with it. I was in the gym a couple hours a day, um, and then yeah, 
couple years go by, and my, my boys at this time are eight and ten, or uh, nine and, and eleven, and I wanted to build them a treehouse. I built them, always built Did them. Did they ask up. you for a treehouse? Um, yeah, they were they were pumped on getting the treehouse skin because I always had a little treehouse for them growing up. Oh yeah, a little treehouse, you know, a little slide. Sure. So we when you know we had moved a couple places and each place like we we, had, we owned a couple homes. Each home, you know, I'd build a treehouse. So I just love building stuff with wood. Yeah. So I was like, ah man, I need to be creative. You know, I need to get into that creative mindset. It's mm -hmm. been a couple of years since I burned. You know, like right. I'm gonna burn some. Yeah. How, I, how, how, yeah. You probably thinking like it's not that bad. It's just take a hoot. Use yeah. it for good. Yeah. And I had the dabs, right? The concentrate. Oh wow. Yeah. So I took I took one dab. And was in that creative mindset, and we built that treehouse all weekend, and we just awesome. You just three, dabbed every day. Three st three story three story treehouse. I took two dabs that day. Didn't didn't smoke very much because dabs are so strong. Yeah. I was good, but then I smoked the next day because I was like, I like how I felt yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you associated with that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, man, I was real creation. I was really creative, and the kids were really impressed. Like, dang, dad, you're really busting out. I had them helping me, like, hand me that piece of wood, you know, and. <laughs> and uh, Wow. She's like, so, yeah, you built a good, you, you associated weed with being positive now. Yep, yep. So there it was, man. I was like, oh, you know, I, I, why'd I, why'd I, why'd I kick Miss Mary to the curb? Right. You know, I need Miss Mary back in my life, Miss Mary Jane. Wow. She's been so good to me all these lives, all this, this time. And, yeah. You know, helped me with my livelihood. And, and you're making these thoughts too and deciding either while you're stoned. Yeah. Or while you're craving it. Yeah. So either way, you're like drawn yeah. to it. Exactly, and I always had friends who had herbs and stuff, so it was never hard to get. So there it was, the slippery slope, man. I was on that slide. I, I started smoking every single day from that point on again. You, you built the slide for your kids, but next thing you know, you were on that slide. <laughs> I was sliding down, man, sliding down for that another bong hit. Wow. So, so you yeah. go back to smoking weed. Go back to smoking weed. For like the next, what, five years? See, that was that was 2012. No, so 2000. So it wasn't till so 2014 yeah, to, 2000, to 2015. Those were the two years that I took a break. I started smoking again about 2016. Okay. And I didn't stop until just this couple months ago. So six, so about four years. Almost four, yeah, about four yeah. years. All, all of 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah, four years Damn, have went by. So I've been burning pretty much. And what made you quit recently? Just sick of being in the cloud, man. Like all these amazing ideas. I'm like, you know, surrounding myself with more fruity, fruity friends like yourself. Like awesome individuals who have a lot of drive, a lot of focus, a lot of vision. Well, look at your wife, dude. Dude, and exactly. She was such a major aspect. My my new wife. <laughs> yeah. Um, Raw food romance. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely all you know. We could go on tangents and deep stories, but yeah, my new wife. She's she would. She would partake with me, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit here and there, and um, she would never smoke. She'd just do like a shotgun. I'd blow it into her mouth, right? Yeah. Would, oh, I like doing that. Man. Yeah. And I had told her too before we met. Like I was like, oh, I can't wait to meet you. I'll give you a shotgun hit, you know, just to let her know. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what my friends and I would do? Even if it was two homies and yeah. we didn't have much weed left, yeah. we'd take a roll of paper towel. Okay. And like one of us would take the hit because we didn't yeah. have much weed, but we wanted to get extra high. So hit, inhale it, and then take the paper towel and put it there and. And then I would, yeah. yeah. So then you'd get double the the amount of smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I'm so used to, and the boys, like my kids, are like, when they hear a lighter, yeah, they're like, Dad, that totally reminds me of growing up, right? Because they'd hear that so much growing up, and I was taking it. So it became this thing. Even this month, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just I want to rip right now. Like honestly, there was there was a time. Uh, before on our way up here driving here I was like oh it'd be so perfect to have a rip we went skiing right after we got done skiing I was like oh right now it'd be so perfect for a rip because it was just such a habit yeah, I yeah would, you associate I would those associate I'm like oh this is this is where I this is the time that I would take a rip yeah right now not necessarily before riding sometimes or like we'd ski off or snowboard off into the trees yeah, yeah, you know yeah. and you come out with a whole different your, yeah. your wits aren't the really world, about it the mountain's different different the snow's soft the, so the sun is warm what I do now, <laughs> maybe I'll save it for the tips. But uh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah so so you re yeah you quit yep. um, recently again. Yeah. And that was um, right before the uh, well, was, no, you came to the Canada Fruit Fest. Yeah. And you're like, I'm gonna quit a couple days before I go on stage and speak. Yeah, because I had you know that 
to go up on stage and speak, and I was like, I gotta get clear. So Nate, Nate, Nate spoke at the festival, I was like, dude, I gotta get this guy on stage, he's got a message, he's a great speaker. I didn't know he smoked me at the time, even if I did, I wouldn't really care, I'm like, this guy's legit. But I didn't know he, he quit, because I didn't even know he was smoking, but he quit weed a couple days before the talk, yeah. gave the talk, that night gets off stage, goes and fucking lights up, or vapes or something. Yeah, vapes. Yeah. Yeah, we even got a couple other people ripped there too, and they're like, man, this is crazy, like, we're high at the fruit festival. And it's, it's you know, not that it's a bad, I mean, it should be clean. I felt like, man, I'm a bad influence. Here I am bringing weed to it's the a, fruit It's festival. a choice though, you know? Yeah, I know, it's people a, took the choice, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good peer pressure. I'm a good peer pressure. I'm like, come on, man, it's all good. Like, Nighttime, like let's go for a walk. We'll take a risk. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Started yeah. smoking again, man. I smoke, you know, and of course, I, the vape pens are so cool because you know I'd be able yeah. to bring them with me so everywhere. Low key. Yeah, low key. But uh, I've always had respiratory issues. Mm-hmm. You know, like man, I'd be coughing, coughing. It sounds painful. Lissa, you know, right. she'd be like, man, it sounds painful. And I'm like, you don't cough, you don't get off. <laughs> you gotta. It, it pushes you know, it all into your blood capillaries. You gotta cough. Yeah. yeah. So the coughing, I just really got sick of too. And just, man, I'm like, I want to be an inspiration to my kids as well. Right. I don't want them to follow in the same sh- footsteps that I did. Yeah. Because not that I have turned out bad or whatever, but. But you know there's more out there. There's more out there. There's more yeah. that I could be accomplishing. And you know, not to, I mean, it's natural for us to compare ourselves to other people. Like, oh, they're only that age and they're doing right. this. Like, boy, well, you look at yourself. You're like, what am I doing? Dang, I, yeah. I'm not doing anything. So I did a lot of comparing and picturing that I do have a message. I do have a voice. I, I do have a something to share. And to get out of the cloud is the only way that I can do it properly. Love it, dude. Love to be able to connect with people. And not to say that I can't connect with people stoned, but I can't be stoned to do what I want to do. Like, the drive is just not there, right? The drive isn't there. I'm just like, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, eh. It's cool. Yeah, it's close to get high. <laughs> Just <laughs> that scale, the Hawkins scale, is so real because yeah, you know, acceptance rates at like three fifty. Yeah, which is still pretty high. I mean, considering it's higher like, than most of the like, other things. Yeah, like people who are like you know, Liquid Courage. You right. know, like that's two hundred vibrating at two hundred. Yeah, and then it goes lower. Like shame is like the very lowest. Yeah, and so but typically that's what people need to experience to bounce back up. Yeah, and we naturally want to be like vibrating like joy like being happy is that 500 Love. 600 yeah like, like right up in there yeah four five so i mean if you're feeling down like and you smoke some weed it's going yeah. to bring you up yeah and if you're feeling good though and you smoke weed it's gonna bring you bring down. down so and i remember feeling that good feeling when i stopped for the two years and i felt great i had so much energy i was Dude. just powerhouse in the gym and you know dude i remember th- i remember thinking like every time i was down and out like yeah. in the crappy days i'd say out loud like what drug am i gonna take today right right like i had all these options i could smoke weed i could do kratom i could like yeah. i can take mdma i could do coke right. I, what 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 drug am i gonna do today yeah i th- was thinking that when i was like at my low when i'm feeling really good i'm like why would i need a drug yeah this is crazy yeah this is yeah. crazy and surrounding ourselves with you know people is huge because yeah if you're with just around a bunch of people, well, like right now at this point in time, I love my, my job and I love my coworkers, but they burn every day. They burn all day. And that's another thing that's been kind of interesting is not burning. Yeah, well now, yeah, let, let's talk about three of the benefits too. Okay. So the right. th- top three benefits yeah. we found since quitting weed. And these aren't just three benefits, but these are like three limiting beliefs that we like broke yeah, yeah. when we quit. So one of the limiting beliefs is that like, your friends are gonna think that you're a weirdo. Yeah. They're not going to accept you. But what actually happens? Man, they got inspired. Your friends get inspired, They're right? Like, You're still not smoking? Like, when are you going to smoke next? And I'm like, man, I don't know. I think I might just not smoke for, for a while. Like, I said a month. I was like, I'm not, I'm, you know, New Year's resolution. I'm not going to smoke for the month of January. You know, and the owners of the business and, like, you know, coworkers are like, that's cool. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Good for you. But then after the month, they're like, hey, Nate, I got some new yada yada. This is purple. This is the purple pineapple, and I'm like, oh man, I, I I'm good. I think I'm gonna just continue on from a break, cause right, you know, that's the same thing I had to do with raw foods. Like, okay, I'm gonna do 30 days, and I know that I want to do it longer than 30 days. I want it to yeah. be a lifestyle, but you have to like at, le- at least get that 30 day down. Yeah, trick yourself. It's just 30 days, and it's not like you know, just that's another thing that's nice with herb is like you're not having to. You're not going through crazy withdrawals. Yeah, there's no physical crazy withdrawals unless you're taking it right before bed every night. 
Mm. You can't sleep without it. Right. That's another story. Right. But um, yeah, that's, that's a huge one. So your friends actually do accept you. In fact, they're like kind of subconsciously hoping that you quit so that you can give them permission to quit as well. Yeah, there's a, there was a, one of them that was like, yeah, I'm just going to smoke on Sunday. And so he, he stopped smoking and just does smokes on Sunday. Wow. You know, and... Uh, it's like having a cheat day. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you know Sunday will be my day. Yeah, so... So that's interesting. So that's, that's one of the limiting beliefs that, that we broke. And it's one of the benefits. You can inspire people. Mm-hmm. The other one is uh, is how we think, like, oh, life's going to be boring. You yeah. don't get high, you don't get drunk. Life's boring, dude. Yeah. But what have we actually found? Man, his life is just so full of so many opportunities, so many things to do. Colors are brighter. Like, when you smoke, you're like, oh, my gosh, the colors are just so much different. But when you're out of the cloud, yeah, life is just popping and when you're high on raw food it's just this pen right now is so pink <laughs> that's pink it's, pen it's a pink pen dude that's glowing yeah so yeah you feel you feel good you feel amazing and and the world is our, our oyster what yeah the the drug of choice now when you're when you're sober is productivity making yes. progress is such a drug like, right i got a pb i yeah. got a pr yeah. Personal record. I got better. I improved. I got. Yeah. I got. I got more followers. I made more money. Or I helped more people. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Rather than like just. Oh yeah, everything's good. Let's just smoke another bowl. Just You're not doing anything. Just chilling. Let's go play that video game. You got yes. that new game? Yeah. Let's go play that video game. Yeah. Let's just go level up. Just in a, level in up. In the world there. Veg out. It doesn't show you any return. So right. Yeah. That's huge. So that's a, that's a second limiting belief. That life would be boring. And I think the third one, would be that like. You think that afterwards, after weed, because weed is like becomes your norm, high as yeah. your high as your norm. Yeah. That afterwards you might not be able to function, so your head would be all fucked up or something. Right. But really, yeah, your head is so clear. Yeah, out of your that mind cloud. is so sharp. Out of that cloud. I mean, I'm still coming out of the cloud, so I'm not as sharp as this cat over here because he's just like. <laughs> and uh, but I'm excited because this year is just for me is going to be phenomenal. To be able to get to has it. already been phenomenal. It, it is. I mean, this right here, we manifested this. Lisa and I both were like, "Oh, we want to host retreats." Bam! Guess who retreats. sends them a DM? Yeah. So we were, we're and we had actually wrote down like, "Oh, we want to host retreats with Ted. We want to host retreats with, you know, Dr. Sam. We want to host retreats with Chris." And all these things are going to start happening because we can start taking action rather than just sitting back and being like, "Yeah, that would be cool." <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I'll actually send them the DM, send them the yep. email, whatever. Yeah. Make yeah, it happen. Take so now, an action. We've been at this Airbnb for 10 days here in Washington. Yeah. Um, and uh, It's been amazing. It's been cool, man. I, I couldn't... I mean, I'm, I don't want to put myself down too much because I do that a lot and I'm trying to... Don't know, do it. Don't do trying it. Trying to do better. But don't even do it. Don't even do it here. It's crazy because there's so much information that there's no way that I would be able to absorb what I've absorbed if I was stoned. That's, if, you yeah. Know, like, there's just no way. Yeah. Because there's... It's like even... You know, even you, you're like, my mind is fried. Yeah, dude, that times my mind is like, it's just too much information. Yeah. It's amazing, yeah. but it's, like, it's too much. Yeah, I mean, you're you're teaching, you know, you're, you're educating, yeah, you're, sharing, so you're, you're sharing your knowledge. Half half this retreat is focused on education, learning, and the other half is execution. Yeah. So, And the education factor, too, is like coupled with the clarity workshops. Yeah. So we get the clarity happening, having yeah. you clear in your origin story, clear in your message, yeah. having you clear in your offer, what you can offer people. Right. How much money you want to be making per month? Yeah. Hopefully more than ten grand a month. Yeah. And then we get you clear on your uh, on your story, with how you, what your message is, yeah. how you can make that offer with that's that huge. storage. And then yeah, we're learning all the different technical aspects of how to drag and drop this, how to build funnels, how to make logos, oh. how to build websites, all that. It's incredible. That boosts the social growth of social media yeah. by hundred followers a day. Webinars. And then we're getting uh, getting the executing, yep. setting timers. All right, yeah. one hour, smash it. Twenty minutes, yeah. smash it. Two hours, smash Which, it. I've been in charge of all the food here, so you know that's been that's been a good one to juggle. You know, I run to the store, make sure we got enough, yep. you know, ingredients to make the food for everybody. You got lunch coming up, bro. I know. That's what I'm looking. I'm you like, better get to it. I got. I got to get. I got to going. <laughs> we got. You know, today's last day. Today's last day. Last yeah, day. last full day. We got to hop back in there, help mm-hmm. the students out, yeah. uh, get them fed. I'll get them. I'll get them yeah. focused, and uh, yeah. you. Uh, yeah. You just deliver on the goods, bro. That's right. I will. Keep us fed. Lunch, lunch has been amazing. Food's been amazing. Keep us fed. Food's been so good. Um, yeah. Any, so any final words for someone who wants to quit? Quit weed. You know, dude? like I, I was thinking about that. Like we should do like a a thirty day challenge or something. Like if you guys are thinking, 
hey man, you know, this sounds pretty good, or I've been contemplating stopping, or, or maybe I should cut back. Like, just take a, call, I'll call it a break. So you're not, you don't have to be like, this is the last time I've ever taken a hit, ever. Yeah, take a break, clean just up. Take, take a break, yeah, take a break. I mean, even, even a weekend break does something. You know what I did, bro? One time, I was like, I'm gonna do April cleansing. Okay. Stop smoking weed from April 1st to the 20th. I'm gonna smoke on the 20th. I was smoking the 20th. Cause that's that was, 420. That was my thing. But that's then, my like, birthday, but 420. I said it. I got people on board. Like, yeah, April cleansing, April cleansing. Yeah. Like, I can't actually do it. Yeah, yeah. I can't actually do it. Yeah, so we want a 30 day challenge. Let's do a 30 day challenge. 30 day challenge from. Yeah. from uh, everyone's gonna be watching this at different times. Different times. So Maybe it, just, it starts whenever you guys watch this. Starts whenever you watch it? Yeah. Set a, set a time? Because it'll be, to, for me, it'll be a 30 day challenge every single day. Another 30 days, another 30 days, another 30 days. I think, I think you might be able to equip them with something to help them. What could you equip them with? Maybe we have like our our, our top 10 benefits. Top 10, top 10 tips? Top, top 10 tips. On how to on actually how to quit. quit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Top 10 tips on how to actually quit, make up a little pamphlet, well, an ebook. ebook. You guys want Cause, an ebook? Because I learned how to make ebooks here. You, you do you guys want Nate to make to put together a little ebook on how to quit top ten so you can quit thirty days? Top if you do, tips. post in the comments and say yes, I want this. We will reply to your comment with a link or or NCK's or top we'll ten put tips. It, or we'll put it in the link. Put the link in the description. I love it. Something's happening. Top I ten tips. It. You want to quit weed? We got you. We know how to do it. We've done it before. Just eat ice cream. Ice cream's a big tip. Yeah, it's a big tip. That's a good. That's good. Good start. I don't know anyone that is 100% raw and smokes weed. I know people that raw and vape, mm. but I don't know anyone that's raw yeah, and smokes. Yeah, because raw, I know, so I wasn't 100% raw, because, you know, I was smoking. I was actually putting the flame to the flower. Yeah, but it didn't last. Did you quit? Exactly. Like, who's raw long-term and smokes long-term? Yeah. They don't go hand-in-hand. Hand. No, they don't. So, but there is, you know, there's definitely benefits in... And you know tinctures or, or you know lotions and salves. I mean, oh, sure. the plant is amazing. CBD is dope, man. It's amazing, but yeah, that, uh, that CBD psych and hemp. the psychoactive aspect is is pretty tough. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. Much love. Love you guys. See you at the Canada Vegan Fest. Ooh, can't wait for that. This summer, this August, it's gonna be the fire. It's gonna be fire. Link in the description. Cannot wait. Let's get it, dude. Let's get some lunch. Let's get some lunch going.